Thank you, Madam, uh, Madam Chair. Commissioner designate, it seems there is agreement that among its first political priorities, the Commission must give new stimulus to job creation and economic growth. How are you planning to contribute to the educational systems in order to generate economic growth in Europe? How will you, as Commissioner, contribute to the mobility of young people, to the development of their skills and also to their employability? Also concerning the youth guarantee that was explicitly designed to tackle youth unemployment, it is noted that by September 2014, only two member states had started making use of these funds. The biggest problem is not the availability of funds, but the slow and inefficient use of available funds by member states. What will be your approach to solve this situation? Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mevrouw. Um, Thank you very much. Education and the labor market and the need to bring them closer together, that is an, a crucial issue. And it's something we need to focus on during this commission. We need to focus more on it than has been done in the past. It's more than just symbolic that the competence for vocational education and adult education has been shifted to DG employment. That means that this is really a point of concern. Education has to do with the labor market, and we have to keep that in mind. We know that uh, there are some uh, education people who are not keen on it. They say education is something completely separate. But certainly when it comes to vocational training and adult education, we have to make sure there's a better link to the labor market. And I think that shifting it to TG employment makes sure that ensures that there's more knowledge about this. When it comes to the youth initiative, we know that uh, these funds have had a slow start. We've given the member states the opportunity to submit um, programs are qu quicker than the others. We've already had something from Italian and Italy and France. I think Lithuania is ready as well, and Spain has come up with something which needs a bit more work. But there are means available from the previous budget which can be implemented. We have the use action programs are still ongoing. We're trying to streamline them. And then we're obviously going to do our very best to make sure that the budget available for the next programming period is used and used effectively for the proper objectives to ensure structural change so that young people can have better opportunities. I'll give the